So congratulations on making it to the final video of our course on building your first KDB architecture. Throughout this course, we covered a wide range of topics from setting up your initial KDB architecture to diving into advanced customization and optimization techniques. And whether you're a seasoned developer or completely new to KDB and Q, we've aimed to provide a comprehensive foundation for building and enhancing your own real-time data processing system. To recap, we started with a quick start just to get you up and running quickly with your architecture. Then we explored how to customize and extend the core components. We looked at adding data feeds, implementing custom streaming analytics, optimizing your data storage and retrieval, and then setting up gateways for efficient query handling. Now you might be thinking it's a lot to take in, and it is, but remember, whether you choose to build your own KDB architecture from scratch or leverage existing products, the fundamentals covered in this course are universal. Understanding these core principles will empower you to make informed decisions and adapt to any KDB product with confidence. I want to extend a big thank you for joining me on this learning adventure and sticking with me if you've made it this far. If you have any questions or want to continue exploring KDB or you have any recommendations for future modules, please reach out and we'll keep the conversation going. I'm really excited to see where your KDB journey takes you next and until then, happy coding.